Hey, what's up guys? This is SeaWorks. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to showcase a little bit of something new in the sim racing slash iRacing industry. Uh, it's a new overlay system. It's called iOverlay. It's completely free. Uh, it recently came out. Uh, there's obviously options to donate to those who develop the software. Uh, but if you're looking for nice overlays that are high quality um, and obviously don't cost anything, uh, it's a great alternative to Race Lab or uh, Caps or any of the other popular overlays that you might be using currently. Um, it's got all the same options. You can you can customize the looks and the sizes and what's on your screen, what's not on your screen. So uh, as you can see, I have it kind of set up now um, with my relative, my fuel calculator, and my input graph over here on the right. Um, it took me five minutes to set up. It's very easy to do. It's very beginner friendly. Let's dive in and I'll show you just how to set it up. So first things first, you're going to come over here to iOverlay.app and download it. As you can see, it's free. It takes just a second to download. And then once you get it downloaded and, and installed, you're going to open this window. And starting out, it says with F6 or Control F6, you can show, hide, and arrange the overlays. When the overlays are transparent, you can move them with your mouse. And obviously I'm in the general tab right now. You can change your font, your font weight, uh, all the default sizes. That way everything's, you know, started out at a, at a default size. All your colors, your transparent background of the overlay itself. And then you got all these settings that you can adjust as well. I haven't played with all of them. Uh, I just really wanted to get a, a base knowledge about the program itself. So, but man, it's got it's got all the things that Race Labs and Caps have for the most part. Uh, it's got your standings. It's got your relative fuel calculator, spotter, pit helper, inputs, input graph, traffic indicator, flat map, track map, Twitch chat, yada yada yada. I mean, it's got it all. And for f completely free, I mean, you can't really beat it. So let's let's just tinker with some things real quick. So uh, this is the preview. I'm educating myself in the process, by the way. Okay, so I have my relative on. I have my fuel calculator on. I have my input graph on. And now if you're a streamer, I would suggest using standings. So how I'm understanding it is this is kind of the stuff that you would use as a driver. You know, stuff that you actually want to see on your screen. But for streaming purposes, this is how you would, you know, copy the URL to a browser source in your OBS. So if there's things that you want to show on stream, uh, but not see them yourself. This is the category right here. You just copy this URL into a browser source on OBS. Uh, but for me, obviously I'm recording a video. Uh, I guess we can throw up standings. Let's just throw it up real quick. Standings. Visible. Okay. Now it's visible. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to press F6. I'm going to press F6 again. And I'm gonna go control F6. And now I can put these pretty standings right up here in the corner. And there you go. I mean, you can't really beat the quality for free, man. Like, there's not much you get in sim racing for free, but this is incredible. Like, I can't even I can't even describe like we all know how nice Race Labs is, and shout out to those guys. They do a great job at developing high quality overlays and whatnot. But for free, I mean, so let's just hop in here, I'll show you guys how good this stuff actually works. I don't know how many people are even in my server, but just for the cause of the video, see, it's got all your, your class separation for IMSA, it's got all, all the necessities for having a clean looking stream or video or whatever you do with the overlays. And honestly, they come in handy as well. Like if you wanted to use, like if you're driving a GTP for instance, and you're monitoring your battery, 
and your battery usage and your deploy mode and changing brake bias and you want to like see all that stuff you can keep your your iRacing black box open but then you can also open this relative on the other side of your screen that way you can kind of use both to your advantage which I think is fantastic but great input graph great looking relative and as I said you can customize all the sizes and whatnot and yeah I mean for free you can't really can't really beat it so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this short little video today I just wanted to showcase something I found super useful for the iRacing community uh, shout out to the over I overlay guys I don't know much about them uh, but man they do phenomenal work so uh, I really appreciate you checking out the video hope to see you around on the channel uh, from time to time and I'll see you in the next one thanks